This is a testimony of a God miracle bestowed on a modern day possessed Christian. There's a couple of um, readings that sort of applied to me on this. One was Matthew 29, 29 to 33. It was about Jesus restoring sight. And the other one was Mark 9, 14 to 29, Jesus casting out evil spirits. I suffered from double vision after a minor stroke. This affected the nerve at the back of my head to my eyes, resulting in my eyes not turning in. So I had double vision out here somewhere. Um, and I had to sort of hold things that far so that anything like this was all blurry. Just go back in time. I'd known for many years that I'd had evil demons. I'd known for a long time that I'd been possessed with people that shouldn't be in my body. I didn't, you know. Um, and the, these were in my soul. It just was self-destroying destruction. Um, I was on a bad, a bad ride. And I'd probably say that um, Jesus has pulled me from the gates of hell a couple of times. He just didn't want me to go there. He must have thought there was some, some good in me somewhere down the track. And it was causing me to do a lot of non-Christian things as far as those. And I had a very in and out relationship with Jesus. Um, I'd be all right for a while, then I'd sort of drift off for a few years. I'd come back and I'd drift off again. And I'd get very distressed and um, it just seemed I had no control over myself. There was always something else controlling me. No matter how I tried, there was something that made you do things. I was invited to take part in the Matthew Theatre, the Matthew drama here last year, um, which was an unbelievable experience for anybody that gets a chance to do, a, to do one of the gospel dramas, um, to act out parts of Christ's life just as people and some of it was just so um, yeah we didn't leave much to um, for people to guess it was all acted out pretty heavily and then I um, and even though I'd done I've been on stage I've done a few amateur things and um, singing in entertainment groups for a long time but this experience of being in a drama was just overwhelming. I can't explain to you what it was like to um, be part of one of the Gospels, to act it as um, somebody. Yeah, it was nothing like I've ever experienced. There was no script to read. The script was our Bible. I didn't have somebody writing a story. The story was there. We all knew about it. And um, I started coming up here because I just found that even though I've gone back to church again, that the first hour of the music and the videos so peaceful and quiet and it's just time you spend with Jesus. It's, I just find that quite, quite a bit. So after all that... Um, Matthew and Alicia Morgan visited here, their last visit, uh, and it was all about deliverance. So like a lot of people, I was a bit sceptical about people um, yeah, lying on the floor and doing things like that. I've got to be quite honest, the sort of I just thought, uh, this is all put on. Till I decided I should step up and had a strong urge to have deliverance. As I was sitting there thinking about it, I said there's terrible pain in my stomach. So when I actually walked up here and I got deliverance, um, those that have, it was no control over me to stop me bending over and starting to throw up and feel that I was chucking out something out of my system and it felt like I actually was dislodging something. So when that had happened, I um, I just sat here and then I went home. Look, the next morning, something had changed. My double vision went from there to there. Um, 
so yeah, I, I could, no, there was no explanation, I hadn't done anything. And it's been like that ever since. I saw my eye surgeon, um, who suggested he, he could operate and make my eyes come in together. I said, forget it. I'm not that desperate, I'd give up double vision. Um, and I said to him, you're a Christian. He looked at me and I said, well, let me tell you a story. So I went through the whole story with him after he checked my eyes. And his comment at the end was, I don't know what you've done or how it's happened. I could not fix your eyes uh, surgically to have what happened to you. I have no explanation at all why, Dennis, your double vision has come in there. Mm. Uh, and that was after deliverance. Um, I still know that I need, and I've had another lot since, I still know that there's um, demons there. I, um, I've actually been lying in bed and seen these black figures. Um, so I have a palm cross. So I just tell Satan to clear off and hold the cross. Um, yeah, so they're there. People that don't believe it, um, I would never did. And I find the big problem we have this day in Christianity is we don't talk about it. We don't discuss demons, devils, anything in churches. Um, and that's what the people need to know. I mean, you go to church, there are more demons in there than congregation sometimes, but people don't believe they're there. And it's not spoken about by your minister, your priest, your vicar, padre, whatever. It's, an, it's a non-event. And I just wish that we did more of it. But I'm certainly grateful for ever stepping foot in this place. Mm. I still have my church. This is a bonus extra to me. Um, because I've changed as a person. People say to me, you're just, you're not the same person. Um, I feel a lot, a lot closer to Jesus. I feel my faith stronger. But more importantly, I, I, it's hard to explain. Yeah, something where your eyes would never, they would never meet. They always went like that. That all of a sudden, they start turning in halfway. Um, and that's my testament to people is... This is not a story. This is not something I've read or something I was told about. This is a physical um, thing that's happened to me. So that's why I wanted to um, give a testimony on it and let people know that, yep, if you've got any doubts, <coughs> get the demons and chuck them out. Mm. Um, It's like, uh, yeah, there are miracles, but this to me is just a gift from God to Dennis. So maybe I have been a good boy somewhere along the line. Not very, not very often, but yeah, it was bestowed on me that um, my eyes would improve. So I just want everybody to know, hang in there, it'll work.